Bellator 189 went down at the Windstar World Casino and Resort, and the action began with a catchweight affair as David Rickles made Bellator history, appearing in his 19th Bellator fight, more than any other fighter against the once beaten Adam Piccolotti. And it was the right hand of David the Caveman Rickles. It was the difference in this fight. Adam Piccolotti had the jujitsu advantage, but didn't get a chance to use it. Mostly a kickboxing match. And David Rickles, sharper with the strikes, landing the thudding right hand, swelled the left eye of Adam Piccolotti. That was a problem throughout the fight, but David Rickles putting the pace and pressure on. He wins a decision victory. Moving up to the middleweight division, Chidi and Jokuwani had problems making weight throughout his career. Steps up to 185, looking to snap Hisaki Kato's three-fight win streak. Well, you know what Njukwani didn't have trouble with? His striking throughout this fight early on, Hisaki Kato able to kick the legs out from under him, but that was about it for the offense of Hisaki Kato. Chidi and Njukwani, very, very fast, accurate, beautiful job connecting his hands and his feet. Great combinations, knocking him down a couple times. Domination by Chidi and Njukwani. In another 185-pound matchup, Rafael Lovato Jr. was looking to remain unbeaten against the once defeated Chris Honeycutt. We knew Lovato Jr. had great striking and great jujitsu, but would Honeycutt come in and use his wrestling? The answer was no. He would come in and clinch every now and then, but no real commitment to the takedown. Mostly a stand up battle, and Lovato Jr. winning the striking battle throughout this fight. Not much on the ground, a lot of transitions, mostly kickboxing, which was won by that man. Rafael Lovato Jr. And in tonight's Spike TV main event, Julia Budd making the first defense of her featherweight title against Arlene Blanco in a rematch. And Julia Budd on the outside for a lot of this match as Arlene Blanco threw her strikes. Julia Budd able to get a takedown early, use some of that clinch work in the first couple rounds. But as it developed, Arlene Blanco putting the pressure on, throwing strikes. Julia Budd looking for her opportunities to counter, but not a lot of action throughout this fight. A decision, and Julia Budd keeps the title. Yeah, controversial split decision, if you ask me. For the latest Bellator news and information, it's bellator.com. Next Saturday, the Italian crowd will be behind one of its hometown heroes as Alessio Sakara fights for middleweight gold. Bang! Against the champ, Rafael Carvalho. Oh, Bellator MMA, next Saturday starting at a special time at 8 on Spike.